welcome everybody. We're going to be doing intervals today. So I'll be putting together two to three exercises and then we're going to repeat that about two to three times. So we're going to start at the back edge of our mat looking at our mat lengthwise, nice and tall through the spine. We're going to start by lifting our arms up nice and high, really stretch to the ceiling, keep the shoulders down your back. And then as your arms go to the side, we're going to do a flat back all the way down towards the floor. Let your head and arms be heavy if you need to bend the knees. And we're going to walk our hands along our mat coming into a plank. Hands right underneath your shoulders. Get yourself settled. Actively draw the shoulders down. Press into the knuckles of your fingers. We're going to bend the knees pushing into the floor. So you're kind of coming into like a little squat. Make sure the ribs are down. Check your knees. Make sure they're hip width apart. And we're going to press ourselves back forward into our plank 10 times. Let's do that again. Nine. Eight, starting to pick up the pace. Seven, six, big movement for our warm up. Four, three, two, one. We're going to bring our knees down, find a quadruped, curl the toes under, lift your knees into a hover. We're going to hold that, actively glide the shoulders down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two knee taps. Tap the toes to the mat. Lift up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Try to get your knees to touch and lift at the same time. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. We're going to cross the ankles. Roll over the feet and the knees. Come down onto your back. Hands behind the head at the base of the skull. And we're going to do six crunches. Here we go. Sorry. Ten crunches. And nine. And eight. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're going to grab the backs of your legs, draw chin and chest, roll up, cross the ankles and the knees. Come back into your quadruped, extend your legs back into your plank. Hide the hips up, drive your heels down, walk your hands back to your feet. Let everything be heavy. Restack your spine all the way back up against your imaginary wall. That's our set. We're going to repeat it two times. Here we go. Draw chin to the chest, rolling down. Oh, sorry. My bad. I'm so used to doing roll downs. We started by reaching our arms up and a flat back down. Hands on the mat. Let's walk it out. Try not to wag your tail. Get settled on your plank. Actively glide those shoulders down. Press away, bend your knees, look at your knees, make sure they're hip-width apart, guide those shoulders down, and let's press into our plank for 10, 9, 8, you can inhale, squat back, exhale, come forward, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we're going to gently bring our knees down, find a quadruped, pick those knees up into our mother hovers, hold, 10, 9, Eight, seven, breathe, six, five, four, three, two, toe taps, ten, nine, eight, knee taps, I mean, sorry, seven, six, five, four, three, two more times, one, we're going to bring the knees down, cross the ankles, roll over your feet and your knees, and roll onto your back. Hands behind the head at the base of the skull. And let's do our 10 crunches. Here we go. 10. If you want to challenge yourself, hold neutral placement. 8. 7. Exhale, 6. Exhale, 5. Exhale, 4. 3. Two more times. We're going to rest back. Hug the knees in towards your chest. Start to rock forward, drawing chin and chest, cross the ankles, roll over your feet and your knees, stepping back into your plank, pipe the hips up, drive those heels down. And now walk back, hands towards your feet. Let everything be heavy. Restack your spine all the way up against your imaginary wall. We're going to take our arms high to repeat it one more time, arms out to the side, flat back, down. Let the head be heavy, bend the knees if you need to. Hands on the floor, walk it out into your plank. 
Spread the fingers nice and wide, press into the knuckles, actively glide those shoulders down. Bend the knees, check your knees, make sure they're hip width apart, and here we go. 10, 9, keep your head lifted and basically stay still. It's going to follow with what's happening in your upper mid back. So don't let your head get droopy. You should be looking right down between your hands when you squat back and maybe up over the edge of your mat when you come into your plank. Three more. Two. One. Gently bring the knees down. Find your quadruped. Curl those toes under. Guide those shoulders down. Mother hovers. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Three. Four. Three. Two. Knee taps. Ten. Nine. Eight, get the knees to touch and lift up at the same time. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to cross our ankles, roll over the feet and the knees, and lie down on your back. Hands behind the head at the base of the skull. Again, if you want to challenge yourself, maintain neutral placement through the pelvis. Ten crunches. Here we go. Ten. Exhale, nine. Exhale, eight. Just let your head rest in your hands. Seven. Elbows slightly to the side. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more time. We're going to hug the knees in. Start to tuck chin to chest. You're going to roll up. Cross the ankles. Roll over the feet and the knees. Step into your plank, pike those hips up, drive your heels down. Let's pedal out our pike for a moment. Breathe. Both heels down. You're going to walk your hands back to your feet. Try not to wag your tail. Let everything be heavy. We're going to stay here for a moment. Bend the knees and straighten for four. And three. So every time we straighten our knees, we get a little bit deeper into our stretch. Hold one. Now slowly restack your spine all the way back up against your imaginary wall. All right, everybody, that's our first set. So second set, we're going to draw chin to chest, roll down. Placing the hands on the mat, we're going to walk out. <clears throat> Find your plank. We're going to start our first set with, or second set with mountain climbers. So I have two options for you when you're at home. You can either hop into it like that, or you can just step forward and back. That way it's going to be a little bit slower and you don't have to have the hopping motion. Shoulders down, choose which one you'd like. We got a count of 10. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, get the heart rate up a little bit, 3, 2, 1. Both legs hip width apart. We're going to roll into a side plank. Both heels come down. You peel the left arm up. Slowly roll back down. You're back on your toes. We're going to roll to the other side. Both heels come down. Peel the right arm up. Go nice and slow. Slowly come back down. We're going to do that two more times each way. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, try to get your movement to emanate from your hip area, from your core. One more each way, inhale, and exhale. The last time, inhale, and exhale. We're going to bring our knees down and come into a kneeling position, pushing the hips forward. Make sure you don't look like that. So try to get that connection through the glutes so that the front of your hip joint is open. You might feel a stretch in your quad and your hip joint. Knees hip width apart. You can think about squeezing your knees inwards to come into a better position on the knees. And we're going to do kneeling squats. Here we go. Ten. When you come up, press your hands behind you so that you engage the glutes a little bit better. Seven. Six. Squeeze. Five. And four. Three. Two. One. All right, you guys, that's our set. So we're going to find our plank. Shoulders down. Mountain climbers. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, try to have a soft landing if you're jumping, one, both legs parallel. Here we go. We're going to rotate into our side plank, both heels down, slowly come back. Let the movement emanate from your center, from your hip area. Inhale and exhale. A lot of shoulder work here, a lot of control. Inhale, exhale. One more each way. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Gently bring the knees down. Give your wrists a little shake out. Push those hips forward. Kneeling squats. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, last set. We're going to come into our plank. Mountain climbers. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, find your plank hip width apart. Let's peel our left arm up. Come into your side plank. Slowly back to center. Letting the hips take us up to the side. And back to center. Two more each way. Breathe. Inhaling. Exhaling. One more each way. Inhaling. Exhaling, last time, inhaling, and exhaling. We're going to bring our knees down, give your wrists a shake out, push those hips forward, and here's our kneeling squats. Ten, nine, squeeze your tush, eight, hands behind you as you come up, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to cross our ankles, roll over the feet and the knees, and lie down on our back. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Let your heart rate could recover a little bit. We're going to keep our arms and our shoulders and our head on the mat. Imprint the low spine and bring your legs up to tabletop. Single leg stretch, one leg reaches out, and then we switch. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep your imprint. Four. So a lot of low ab work. Three, two, one. Both legs go out and in. As they go out, you deepen your imprint. Out and in. Collarbones wide. Shoulder blades stay on the floor. If you feel like you're arching your back off the mat, reach your legs up a little bit instead of down. Out. And in, we got five more times. Five, pull it in. Four, pull it in. Three, pull it in. Two, pull it in. One, pull it in. We're going to roll on to our left side. Coming into a kneeling position, we're going to reach our arms straight out. You're going to lean over towards the left. Sending your right leg to the side, coming onto the right hand. We're going to lift the top leg up. You're going to bend your knee, bring your knee in towards your elbow, and then reach the arm overhead as you send your leg back out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we're going to reach the arm up as you bend your knee, slowly pick yourself back up. We're going to go to the other side, leaning into the right knee. Let the right hand come onto the floor. Left leg reaches out, left arm reaches up. You're going to lift your top leg, bend your knee and elbow in. It's okay if your knee is forward, you don't have to be turned out. And we're going to reach out, 10, 9, 8. The knee and elbow do not have to touch, 6. Five, stretch, four, three, two, 
One, we're gonna slowly bend the top knee, reach your top arm up and come back up. We're gonna cross the ankles. Roll over the feet and the knees, that's our set. We're gonna lie down. Hands, shoulders, head stays on the mat. Imprint, legs and tabletop. Single leg stretch, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, both legs out, 10, and in, nine, deepen your imprint when your legs go out, eight, belly to spine, don't let it poof out, seven, press your whole body onto the mat as the weight of your legs go out, six, five, shoulder blades against the floor, three more, four more, sorry, can't count, three more, pull it in, two more, Pull it in, just make sure your back doesn't arch. One more, pull it in. We're gonna roll onto our side. Come on up to that kneeling position. Arms out to, out to the side. I like to switch directions usually. So we're gonna start by bringing our weight into our right knee. You're gonna come down onto the hand. Left arm up, left leg lifts. Bring your knee to elbow, elbow to knee, and reach. One, two, three. You can turn your leg out or not, four. Five, not turned out, will look like this. Seven, eight, nine, one more time. 10, we're gonna slowly bend the knee, reach your top arm up. You're gonna pick yourself back up onto the knees. A lot of work there. We're gonna shift our weight into our left leg. Slowly bring the left hand down. And right arm reaching up, left leg lifts. Here we go, knee to elbow, elbow to knee. One, two, the arm goes overhead. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Feel those hips burning. Nine, one more time. 10, we're gonna slowly bend the knee, reach the top arm up, come back to kneeling. Cross your ankles, roll over the feet and the knees and lie back down. We got one more set here. Imprint, legs come up to tabletop, single leg stretch. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Both legs go out and in. Hardest one, I think. So really press that low spine into the mat. Don't allow your back to arch off the mat when the weight of your legs go out. And in, five more times. Five, and in, four, and in, three, and in, don't let your belly poop out. Two more, and in, one more, and in. We're gonna roll onto our side, push ourselves up back into that kneeling position. We got one more set here. Arms out to this side, you're gonna let your weight shift into your left knee. Slowly come down onto the left hand. Right arm reaching straight up for a moment. Lift that right leg. Knee to elbow, elbow to knee. Arm goes overhead, legs go out. One, two, three. Four, reach, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend the knee, reach your top arm up, slowly pick yourself back up. We're gonna bring our weight onto our right knee. Slowly come down to the right hand, last time here. Left arm up, right leg lifts. Knee to elbow, elbow to knee, now take that arm up. One, two, it can be turned out. Three, four, stretch, five, reach it away. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to bend the knee, reach our top arm up, slowly come up. Now we're going to reach our arms forward, bringing the legs together. You're going to kind of sit back towards your feet. We're going to take a gentle little stretch to let our heart rate recover. As you move your arms over to your right, you're going to allow your hips to shift to your left. You're gonna get a nice stretch in the hips and in the side body. And just a couple deep breaths in and out here. Again, we're letting our heart rate recover. We're gonna go ahead and walk our arms over to our left, and as we do that, allow your hips to shift to your right. 
Again, you should feel a deep stretch into the hip and into the side body. And we're going to hold this again, several deep breaths in and out. Now we're going to come to center. Slowly restack your spine. As long as your knees feel okay with being in this little seated position. And then chin and head are the last things to lift. All right, you guys, so we're going to move on to the next group of exercises. So we're going to lie down on our forearm on our left. You can also do this resting your head on your arm if it's a little too much to hold yourself up. Make sure this shoulder doesn't roll forward. We want to pull it back. Your legs can be slightly in front of you. We're going to lift through the bottom part of our ribs. You want to resist that happening. So really lift up. Our top leg is going to turn out, and you're going to squeeze those legs together and reach them so far away that you feel like you're just lengthening out more, and you feel like your legs are getting longer. From here, we're going to lift our top leg up 10 times. Resist your hip going back like that. So keep it forward. Keep the leg turned out. Lift those ribs. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, lift the ribs more as you lift your leg, 5, 4, my dog's staring at me right now, 3, 2, and 1. We're going to lie down on our back. Just kind of lie down and roll onto your back. Arms out to the side, reaching through both legs. We're going to take that same leg, so your right leg, you're going to lift it up. Leg's going to cross your midline. Hip comes off, but not the shoulder. Circle down, out to the side, and up. Two. And three. We're going to do five, and then reverse it for five. Four. Think about, again, your leg getting longer. Five. And reverse. Five. Four. Three, two, so we get a nice little twist in our low back one more time. We're going to lower that leg down, line up the hips, and left leg reaches up. Cross your midline, circle down, out to the side, and up one. And two, so the hip is coming up as we cross the midline, not the shoulder. Three, big circles. Four, imagine your leg getting longer. Five, and reverse. Five, four, three, reach it away. Two, one more time. We're going to lower the leg down, center the hips. You're going to roll on to your right side. Um, to your forearm, I'm just going to face away, just kind of rolling on the mat so it's flowing. Lift the ribs, legs turned out, bring them slightly in front of you, reach the legs away. Now your other leg, it'll be your left one, we're going to lift it up, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, we're going to bend the knees, roll all the way into a quadruped. Press up into a plank, shoulders down, lift those abs. You can do this on your forearms if you'd like. Take your right leg, you're going to point the toes, we're going to lift that leg. Ten, nine, eight, seven, push your head back in space. Five, four, squeeze, three, two, one, bring the foot down, left side, here we go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we're going to bring the knees down, I know I like to switch sides, so I'm going to start by facing away, if you want to follow along, you'll be on your right elbow, so you'll be lying down on your right side. Lift those ribs, take the legs slightly in front of you, turn those legs out. Here we go, lift that top leg. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two more, one more. We're gonna lie all the way down and roll onto our backs. Same leg, so if you are listening to my cues, we're kind of started mirroring and then we weren't. It's gonna be your left leg, so same leg that was working. Arms out to the side, take that leg up. Now let's do our single leg circles, five each way. Inhale and exhale, four. Inhale and exhale, three. Inhale and exhale, two. One more time, let's reverse it. Four, five, reach those legs away. Four, the one on the mat is still reaching. Three, that's your anchor, so stretch through it. Two, one. We're gonna lower that leg, center the hips. Opposite leg lifts up, cross your midline, hip comes up, not your shoulders, circle down, out to the side and up. Inhale and exhale. Again, that leg that's on the floor is reaching away. It shouldn't be moving. One more this way. <clears throat> Let's reverse our circles for five. Four, as you start to get fatigued, really reach your leg away. Three, so think about that lengthening. Two, and one. We're gonna lower the leg. Center the hips if needed, and you're gonna roll onto your left side if you're mirroring me. <clears throat> Ribs lifted, make sure the shoulders rolled back. We're gonna take our legs slightly forward. Top leg, bottom leg turned out. Make sure this hip doesn't go with you. Lift that leg up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Lift those ribs and five. Reach it up and four and three. Two, one more. We're gonna bend the knees, roll into our quadruped. Spread those fingers wide, press into your knuckles, send the legs back. Find your plank. Left leg, we're gonna point the toes and lift that leg. 10, nine, get a nice little squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're gonna place the foot. Right toes, we're gonna point them so the leg comes off, and here we go. Squeeze, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna bring our knees down. I like to switch sides, so last set. We're gonna finish it off the same way we started. Bottom ribs lifted. Shoulder down. If you're going to mirror me, you're going to be on your left forearm and lying down your left side. Legs turned out. Lift those ribs. Here we go. One. Let's keep our heart rates up. Two. Three. Four. Lift. Five. Squeeze. Four. Lift those ribs. And three. Two. I think I was counting up and then down. So let's do one more just in case. And then we're going to go ahead and lie down on our back. You're going to roll over. Same leg that was up, so if you're mirroring me, it's gonna be your right leg. Arms out to the side, take that leg high, cross your midline, hip comes off, not your circle, or not your circle, not your shoulder, big circle out and around. Two, three, so this one can move a little slower. Four, stretch through both legs one more time. It's gonna get a little hard as you lift that leg up. Reverse, five. And four, still reach it away, even though you're getting fatigued. Three, and two, one more. We're gonna lower that leg onto the mat, center your hips, other leg lifted up, cross your midline, hip comes off, not the shoulder, big circle down and out. One, inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three, and four. Five, reverse, five, four. Remember your leg that's on the mat stays reaching three. Stretch that leg all the way out and around two. One last time. And lower the leg, center the hips, bend the knees, roll onto your other side. Come up onto the forearm if you'd like. Bring your legs slightly in front of you, turn those legs out, lift your ribs, shoulders and hips stacked, and let's lift that leg. 10, nine, eight, 
Seven, lift your ribs as you lift your leg. Five, four, reach it up. Exhale, three, two, one more. And we're going to bend our knees, roll into our quadruped, stepping into our plank for our last set here. Shoulders down, right toes point. Let's lift that leg. Ten. Nine. Resist lifting your hips as you lift your leg. Six. Five. Just squeeze right from where your thigh meets your tush. Two more. One more. We're going to bring those toes down. And other side. Ten. Last one. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. A lot of work in that left hip flexor. Four. Three, two, one. We're going to bring our knees down, feet together, knees wide. That was a really long set just because we we're doing exercises on both sides. So we're going to take our little rest for a moment. Let our heart rate come down. Stretch the arms forward. Let your forehead rest on the mat. And just a couple deep breaths in and out. We're just going to let our hips relax a little bit. It's a lot of hip work. Breathing deeply, kind of focusing on your heart rate. Couple more deep breaths in, allowing our heart to recover and the heart rate to slow down a little bit. One more deep breath in and out together. Me and we're going to slowly restack our spine in this seated position all the way back up. All right, everybody. So we recovered a little bit. Now, again, we're going to go into some dynamic work to get our heart rate up again. So we're going to come into a lunge position, extending your back leg, and then you basically want your legs hip width apart. Once you feel confident, we're going to go ahead and slowly pick ourselves up, keeping our weight in our front foot. So I've got my right foot forward. If you want to match that, you can. Uh, so I'm going to think about pushing into my right heel and make sure my knee is not past my toes. So if you feel like you're too close, you might have to, or feel like you're too far, you might have to step in a little bit. I felt like I was a little too far back. So I hopped my left foot in. So just as just as needed. We're going to place our hands on our hips and then just kind of feel your hip bones. If you feel like one hip is rotated back a little bit, one hip bone is farther back, just adjust it. And then we're going to pick both or straighten both legs, making sure your legs are hip width apart so you don't lose your balance. If you notice, my back heel is not on the mat. Now we're going to bend both knees. Your back knee is going to come down towards the ground and we're going to come back up for 10. Nine, I'm focusing on keeping my weight in my front heel. Seven, six, five, four more, three, two, one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slowly pivot. So you got to pick up your toes on the front foot and pivot so now you're facing forward and just get your body set up where you're wide in a second position. So I'm turned out, my legs are wide. I'm gonna take my arms up as I do a plie down. So make sure your butt doesn't go back like that. So we want our hips straight down between our heels for these. And as we come up, we'll bring our arms down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale, arms come down. Think about your knees being pushed back as you do your plie down. You're going to get this nice opening in your hip. We're going to do five more. Press through your heels. Four more. Up. Good. Three. And up. Two. It'll feel good after all that hip stuff we did. Plus, you get a little bit of work. One. Hands on your hips. Now, we're going to pivot so we're facing, if you're going to mirror me, going to be over your right shoulder. So hip, hip, hips are forward. If you feel like you're a little far back, you can always step this foot in a little bit, making sure your legs are hip width apart. Now we're going to bend the knees. You're going to think about your back knee going down to the floor. And we're going to press back up for another 10. 
Nine, think up as you go down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna stay here, we're gonna take the arms high and you're going to kind of fold over your front leg. You bend the knee if you need to. Placing your hands on the mat, you're going to step that left foot back. Find a nice plank position, shoulders down. Five push-ups, here we go. Five, four, three, lift your head, lift your belly. Two, one. Now we're going to step the same foot forward. If you're on the same side as me, it's going to be your left foot. We're going to slowly pick ourselves back up. If you feel like you're too far back, like I feel a big stretch here, so I know I'm a little too far back, I'm going to hop this foot in. Still making sure I'm hip width apart, hands on your hip bones, make sure they're facing forward. And here we go, right from the start. Bending the back knee, the knee goes down towards the mat. Stretch both legs up, 10. Nine, keep your weight in your front heel. Eight, seven, six, five, four more. Three, two, one. Now you're gonna pick up your front toes and then bring your back heel down so you're pivoting forward again. Adjust your feet, you wanna be in turn out. And here we go, big plie down, knees go back, arms go up and back up. Make sure your butt doesn't go behind you. You want your butt to go straight down between your heels. Inhale, exhale. Think up as you go down. Five more, five. It's a little bit of work, but a nice release through the hips. Four, and three. Keep your back lifted. Two, no butt sticking out. One more time. Hands on your hips, we're gonna pick our back toes up and our front toes and we're gonna pivot so we face, we're facing forward again and just adjust. Make sure your hip bones are facing forward. If you feel like you're too far back, you know what to do, just hop that back leg in. And we're gonna bend both knees, your back knee's gonna to go to the floor and we're gonna press up for 10. Nine, be aware of where your hip bones are. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two more times, one more time. We're going to take our arms up and you're going to fold and kind of dive over your front leg, bending your knee when you need to. Hands on the mat, we're going to step that back, front leg back and find a plank. Collarbones wide, drive those shoulders down, five push-ups, five, four, three, two, one. Step the same foot forward. Hop the back foot in. If you know you're going to be too far away, we're going to slowly come up. Hands on the hips, straighten both legs. One more round, everybody. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Think about pushing into your front heel. Six, five, Four, three, two more times. Now you're gonna pick up your front toes so that you can pivot forward, back heel comes down, and adjust so you're in your second position. Arms down, we're gonna plie down, big stretch, and come back up, 10. Inhale, exhale, nine, eight, seven, Six. Remember, you want your hips to go straight down between your heels. Five. Four. Imagine sliding your back down a wall. Three. Knees go back. Two. One more time. We're going to pick up the toes so that we can pivot the other direction. Hands on the hips. Get yourself centered. And one more set of these little lunges. Here we go. One. Two, push into your front heel, three, four, back knee goes to the ground, five, six, 
seven, breathe through that burden in your quads, really pull up on those quads. Nine, one more time. 10, we're gonna take our arms up, folding over the front leg, bending your knee when you need to. Hands on the mat, step both legs into a plank. Collarbones wide, pull those shoulders back. Last set of five push-ups. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna bend our knees, cross the ankles. Roll over your feet and knees and lie down on your back. Extend your legs down to the bottom corners of the mat. Reach your arms overhead and press your body into the floor. We're going to float our arms down, draw chin to chest, roll up. We're going to keep our feet kind of relaxed or you can just keep them pointing to, pointed today. We're going to roll back down. We're just going to prep this. One more time, it's just doing a one roll up, regular roll up, big stretch, keep your feet relaxed though, then roll back down. So just to kind of change, you know, where our focus is, now we're gonna be moving our spine and we're lying back down on the mat. So the next set, we're gonna be doing eight fast roll ups. We're gonna go up and down and up and down. Might count a little faster than that. You can use momentum, so if you have a hard time in your roll-ups, sometimes these are a little easier. My head never touches the floor when I'm doing these. So I just go down, I come right back up. I go down, I come right back up. So just have fun with it. We're gonna do eight, and that's gonna start our, our next, might be our last set, actually. So we're gonna take our arms up, and as your arms go down, here we go. We're gonna go up and down, up and down, up, and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Three more times, up and down. Two more, up and down. One more, up and down. Arms on the mat, center your body. Sometimes those make you move off your mat. We're gonna take our right leg up to the ceiling, left leg out, curl up, scissors, reach the legs away two times, then we switch. Exhale, exhale, inhale. I'm working an imprint. Feel free to work in neutral if you want. If your hamstrings are tight, work an imprint. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. We're gonna lift our hips up, put our hands behind our hips. Reach those legs to the ceiling and sink your spine into the space created by having your hips on the mat or on, the, on your hands. We're gonna lower lift those legs 10 times. Inhale, exhale nine. Feel free to curl up with it if you want. Eight and seven. Really working those low abs and hips again. Six, five, four, three, two more times. One more. And rest. All right, you guys, that's our set. I just realized as I put those in there at the end, that might have been kind of mean because now we got to go into our fast roll-ups. So let's just have fun with it. If we slow down a little bit, which we probably will, that's okay. So we know what we're doing. Fast roll-ups, scissors, and then 10 uh, leg lifts. And I did eight, eight, and then 10. So take those arms up. Here we go. Up and down, 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 up and down. Three more, up and down, two more, up and down, one more, up and down. Left leg up, right leg out, scissors. Eight, seven, curl deeper. Anchor through the hip of the leg that's going out so your hips don't move around. Four more, four, three, two, breathe through that burn, look right at your belly button, one. Woo, lift those hips up, hands behind the hips. 
We're going to take our legs up to the ceiling, sink the spine in towards where your hands or your, um, that space is because your hips are on your hands. And we're going to lower, lift those legs 10 times. We've got eight more. Seven, don't let your back arch really pull those abs in. Don't let them poof out. Six, you want to feel as though your abs are bracing, not pushing out. Five, pull in as your legs go away. Four, only go as low as you're not going to arch your back. Three, two more. Abs, 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 abs. One more time, everybody. Woo, I'm starting to feel my hip flexors and my low abs. We're going to send our legs out. Last set, arms go up, here we go. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Just use your arms, throw yourself up, down. Four, three, two, one. Rest, woo! Okay, let's keep it going. One leg up, one leg out, scissors, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift your hips, hands on your hips. Last one, reach those legs up, and here we go. Ten, nine. Eight, reach those legs away. Don't let your belly poof out. Seven, lift. Six, lift. Five, abs, abs, abs. Four, it's that transition of lifting your legs at the bottom that's going to be more challenging. Two, and one. We're going to hug our knees in. Make circles with your knees on the ceiling. Let your heart rate recover. Deep breaths in and out. Reverse. I know you guys are probably feeling this one. And while we're making our little circles and giving our massage or sacrum a little massage, I always get the question, how can you do all that and talk at the same time? I honestly don't know, but I what I do know is that it distracts me from the pain and the hardness of the exercises. So I know that you guys are gonna be feeling this at home. Just take your time. We are done with our set, with our intervals. We're going to start to cool our body down and stretch out a little bit for the end of class. I do know if I take a class and I'm not teaching, I'm always like, what the heck? So I know that talking, I think, because I'm thinking about what to say, always distracts me from the pain of the exercises. Not to say I won't feel it later. We're gonna go ahead and roll to the side and come up into a quadruped. And we're gonna start by stretching our hip flexors. So let's send our right foot forward. We'll just be on the same side. Come up onto your fingertips, lift your heart up and just allow that left hip to open up, especially after that last set of exercises we did with a lot of hip flexor and low ab work. Placing your weight on your right heel, start to bring your hands onto your knee if that feels comfortable for you. We're gonna place our right hand on the back of the left leg so you're bracing against the leg. Left arm comes high, you're gonna add a gentle back bend if that feels okay for you. We're gonna cartwheel the hands down to the inside of the right foot and allow your right knee to fall to the side so you're on the side of your right foot. You're gonna feel this really nice stretch in the deep muscles of the hip underneath the glute. If you want a deeper stretch, feel free to come down onto your forearms. If you're on your forearms, go ahead and come back to your hands. We're gonna bring that foot, the right foot onto the mat so your knee's looking forward. We're gonna take our left arm, you're gonna peel it up and do a semi-circle back. You can come up onto your right fingers if you want, fingertips. Stay here, or you can bend your back knee and grab your foot and add a quad stretch. Might even feel a stretch in your pecs. A couple deep breaths in and out here.
If you have your foot, gently release it. We're just going to bring that hand back down, <clears throat> right hand to the outside of the foot, and straighten your front leg. Try not to sit on your heel if you notice my hip is right over my knee. And then you might have to pull your right hip back a little bit so that your hips are square. We're going to round our back over the leg. And then you're going to go the other way. You're going to arch and you're going to stay. You feel that deepened stretch in the back of your leg. We're going to flex our front foot. <clears throat> And then we're going to slide that leg back and we're going to step our left foot forward. Just get yourself in a position where your left knee is right over your ankle. And you feel that opening through your right hip. Coming up onto the fingertips, lift your heart so you open up more. When you're ready, push into the front heel and bring your hands onto your knee. Left hand is going to brace against the back of the right thigh. So you're opening up this shoulder. Right arm is going to go high. If it feels okay for you, do a gentle back bend. Take your time. If it feels too deep, back up. We're going to cartwheel the hands down to the inside of the left foot. Let your left knee fall to the side as so you're coming onto the side of the foot. You're going to feel that deep stretch in the lateral rotators and the muscles underneath the glute in the hips. So you're going to feel underneath here, deep in here. Feel free to come onto your forearms if you want a deeper stretch. <clears throat> if you're on your forearms, go ahead and come up onto your hands. We're going to go ahead and flatten our left foot onto the mat so the knee's looking forward again. And then peel your right arm up, rotating back. Stay here, or if you feel comfortable, you can bend your knee and just grab your foot and give yourself that little quad stretch. It's not little. I don't know why I said little. Big quad stretch. Might even feel stretch in your pec also. If you have your foot, slowly release it, and we're going to just circle the hand down, and then extend the front leg. Now, just again, remember you want your hip over your knee, so if you notice, I'm not sitting on my heels, but my right knee is directly underneath my hip. We're going to round our back over the left leg, and then you're going to flatten your back, or arch your back, and we're going to hold that deep and stretch in our hamstring. You may have noticed sometimes when you round your back in this position, you'll feel like a little nerve burning back here when you round. So just so you know that that is a little normal because our sciatic nerve goes through, most of the population goes through your piriformis. So when you're in that position, you kind of tuck your tail under a little bit, just kind of closing that space. You might feel that little burn. And then as you lengthen out, it'll release. May or may not feel that. We're going to slide this leg back and we're going to come into a seated position for my favorites, our psoas stretch. So we're going to bring the right, or yes, right foot forward so that you're mirroring me. So mirror me. So this is your leg that's forward. And we're going to place our right hand just above the knee on the thigh. Left hand at your hip on the mat. You're going to turn away from your left leg, right leg, sorry. You're going to push it away and lean down over the left leg. Now we're going to add a little pulsing lean. Keep pushing this leg away. It's okay if the shoulder rolls forward a little bit because there's really not a lot of weight on it. And then we're going to hold. And you should feel this very deep stretch in your low back on the right and very deep into the hip. Deep breaths in and out. I'm going to slowly come up from that. Let's do the other side. So left leg's going to come in front. Left hand on your thigh above the knee, so make sure you're not pressing on the joint. And then right hand at your hip on the mat. We're going to push this leg away, turn away, and lean down over the right leg. Let's add a little pulsing down, down, down. And the trick is to keep our back straight. So you want to resist rounding your spine. 
and we're gonna hold. You should feel this very deep stretch in the low back and deep into the hip on the left. Now we're gonna come back to seated. We're gonna take our right arm up and over, anchoring down through the right hip, just a nice little side bend. Coming back up, left arm up and over. Coming back up. Now this time we're going to take our right arm up and over. From where your collarbone is and meet your shoulder, you're going to take that arm behind you, out to the side and forward. So it's like making a big circle on the ceiling. Now we're going to open to the ceiling as our arm goes behind us. And then we're going to come back to center as it goes to the side and in front. We're going to open up to the ceiling as the arm goes back. And one more time, you're going to get this wonderful stretch into the neck, into the pecs, and into the obliques. We're going to go back to our side bend, come all the way up, lower the arm, and let's do the other side. So we're in our side bend, left arm is up. You're going to take the arm behind you to the side and circle forward. Just stay in your side bend for a moment. Stay facing forward and think about the movement emanating from where your clavicle, your collarbone meets your shoulder. Now as our arm goes back, we're gonna rotate up. It's a small movement. As the arm goes to the side and forward, you rotate back to center, back facing forward. One more time, and again, if you're tight through the shoulders, you're gonna really feel that wonderful stretch through your pec and your shoulders. We're gonna come back to our side bend, lengthen all the way up. Resting our hands on our knees, let's close our eyes for a moment and just take a couple deep breaths in and settle into your body. Feeling any changes after class today? It was a pretty intense interval class, but it was very kind of fluid on the mat, which is what I like, so. It's almost like a little dance with your mat. Let's do one more deep breath in and out together. On the exhale, you can open your eyes. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. I hope you enjoyed class. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you soon. There's gonna